and it comes towards the end of your uh, brilliant column. And I'm not saying that to being sycophantic, because, you know, I don't I don't do that. But I did genuinely sit up on the train and think, blimey, this is an absolute cracker. Towards the end, you talk about the real danger for Tories wrestling amongst themselves to choose a new leader and prime minister. The real danger is not an outright Labour victory and a majority government, because none of the polls are showing that that's a slam dunk at the moment once we get over this election thing. But you warn again of the real dangers of a hung parliament with a Labour, Liberal Democrat and uh, nationalist coalition. Don't Labour realise that as well? Well, I think that uh, this is not necessarily a slam dunk. I think that uh, the, the Labour Party looks like it's going to win simply because it's 10 points ahead in the polls. But that is nothing in the circumstances. When you consider the sort of dramas and disasters that have been going on under Boris Johnson's premiership and under the, uh, under the Conservative Party over the last 10 or 12 years, um, I think that there is still everything to play for here. And I think once the, to the Conservative Party have picked a leader, which I think they already have, actually, I think that uh, Liz Trust is going to be our next prime minister. Uh, I think that they could rally around that person if they have the uh, sense, find some policies, stick to them and make sure they deliver in time either for the next election or for perhaps uh, an early snap election.